So I've got another package straight from China from AliExpress, retro gaming related. I've been kind of hooked on this. We got some Game Boy Advance games, some interesting stuff. We did a video previously where I talked about this, where I was seeing all these bootleg games being sold at places. I'm in Southern California and there were places were trying to pass them off as legit, 40, 50, $60. They're, they're freaking dumb, dude. Like, I'm not gonna pay that for a bootleg game. I got these all between like three to four, maybe $4.50 each. Prices fluctuate on AliExpress, so don't quote me on the exact prices here, but I wanted to check this out. We got a nice bundle of games and also this thing. Okay, so I showed the other one and I just got this one. I was really excited to get it uh, for the Game Boy Micro. So check this out. Off of AliExpress, I think it was like 10 or $12 for a piece of plastic. Yeah, that's, that's a bit much, but a faceplate for the Game Boy Micro. I'll show you the previous one that I got. And I love these. I'll link to this one too, uh, but I love these things because they look legit. Like this is the Final Fantasy IV one. They look really nice. The, the actual screen area is not cloudy, not scratched up. There's a piece of plastic over it right now. Like, I think they copied these, like, one for one. If you could see the uh, Nintendo logos on there and everything, like, I, I don't know what they did to make these ones so much better than previous ones, because I could never get a faceplate that would fit. So, like, I have my Game Boy Micro. This is the other faceplate that I got off of AliExpress. But let me take this one off. I don't have the original tool to pry this damn thing off, so bear with me. And there we go. Freaking nice fit, looks great. Yeah, highly recommend these if you're looking for a Game Boy Micro faceplate. Link down below. But let's check out this uh, collection of games we got here. Some interesting stuff, like I said. And previously, I talked about, yeah, like bootlegs, stuff like that. How It's kind of like these bootlegs look really freaking good. Um, and there's certain ways to make sure you're not getting ripped off when you're looking for games out in the wild. Uh, but these, man, like for the un, the non-knowing, the unsuspecting person, it, it can be a little weird because these look really good, man. We got Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. And I showed the inside of the boards on some other ones. So I'll do the same with a couple of these. But the one thing I want to point out with a legit cart that I didn't mention the last time, this may be very difficult to see uh, if you're out in the wild, but this isn't even 100% guaranteed, but it's a good sign if you see it. But along right here, there's like a stamped in number. If you could see that, this is a legit cart. There's several numbers right there stamped in. That shows it's legit, but not 100% all the time because sometimes I've seen a few bootlegs have a similar thing over here, but these ones, none of them that I've received lately have that, but that's one way to look at it. So let's set that aside. Next game, there's so many damn games to open up. May have to cut to just uh, having them all out, but here's the first Advance Wars. And like I said, the shells look really good, but they are cheaper. You could see like, the stress marks on the plastic down here. They just, they're, it's not as good plastic as an original cartridge. Like you could see, see how it's like kind of like white plastic there. Like it's a stress mark or where it broke off or was cut. That's on all these bootlegs I've been seeing, but in an original cart, you're not gonna have that. Then you can kind of see like, I don't know, the pin edge seems fresher and you know white I don't, I don't know there's there's gonna be there's gonna be different signs that you could tell the labels look more glossy that kind of thing but it can be difficult man it can be difficult all right i'm gonna get all these opened up and then we'll look at them real quick like i don't can't sit here 10 minutes trying to open all this plastic okay there we go it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad i think these ones are gonna be the most interesting ones, maybe? We'll find out. But okay, so far we've seen, we'll, we'll test some of these out as well, but we got Advance Wars 1 and 2, and then 
Golden Sun, oh my God, I love Golden Sun. You know, the previous bundle of these carts that I got, the saves all work. If the game originally, like that's the best way to find out is to compare boards online. Look at the official boards. Like a lot of people have scans or pictures of the actual board on the inside. Here's the uh, second Golden Sun. Uh, but if a game originally had a battery for saves, these newer ones, they, they don't have uh, batteries. They use flash uh, memory for the saves. So none of these should have batteries in them. Mother 1 and 2 in English. Excited for that one. Uh, Mother 3 in English. Also excited for that one. And then uh, all the Final Fantasy games. So Tactics... Six, four, the labels on these, like you could tell the labels do not look as good as an original game. The print quality isn't quite as good, but hey, I mean, if all you want to do is play a cartridge, like, yeah, you can get an EverDrive, just put all the games on it, but sometimes, I don't know, the feeling of having an individual cartridge popping it in your system for one specific game, I, I don't know. There's there's a feel to it. There's a feel to it. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls. Alright, so these should be the more interesting ones, in my opinion. What is this? Zelda, the Minish Cap. Sweet. So this was like a, a Zelda bundle, and there's three, four, five cartridges, and it was like 20 bucks for the five carts. But Minish Cap... Game Boy Advance Edition, Oracle of Seasons. That's what I'm talking I'm really curious to see this. And then Game Boy Advance Edition of Oracle of Ages. Sweet. And then Link to the Past with uh, Four Swords. Yeah, this label, like the the... DPI on the print is like bad. It, it doesn't look like an original cartridge, the label. But from a distance, it might. And what's the last one? I don't even know. Link's Awakening DX, dude, in a Game Boy Advance cartridge. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I thought like the Zelda bundle may be kind of cool. So just real quick look at some of these uh, bootlegs here, the actual boards. So Golden Sun and Minish Cap. Compared to a real game, uh, you could see there's there's differences. This is a more quality board, different color green. The Nintendo logo is different on here. Uh, but always best to take a look online, compare what a legit board looks like to what you're looking at if you're buying stuff out in the wild. Uh, always have your tri-wing screwdriver, your game bit with you, whatever you need. Seller doesn't let you open them up. The look of the board, then don't buy from them. But yeah, there you go. Never going to have these black blobs. That's one of the biggest things here. Uh, but let's test out. I've already showed some footage throughout the video of testing uh, some games and whatnot. But I want to try some of these Zelda games that are a little a little weird. So let me get a Game Boy Advance out. I'm going to try a Zelda DX first. So could be kind of interesting. I've tested a few of these. Um, saves have been no problem. Like I said, I've been showing footage, uh, playing them on the analog pocket and whatnot. And everything's been good. Even the previous set of games that I got the other week, uh, save files have been working just fine. Haven't had any weird issues. But this is this is pretty cool. You got like the little bezel back there. Oh, man. How, how do they do this? I, I'm sure it's simple, but how, how the hell are they... Uh, Getting these these Game Boy games as a Game Boy Advance cartridge. That's cool. Okay, let's pop that out. Try a Oracle of Seasons. See what that looks like. So, okay, really cool. We got a Zelda Oracle of Seasons on the Game Boy Advance. I think that's neat that they have Game Boy Advance cartridges of those games. But yeah, I just wanted to check this stuff out. Like I said in my previous video, my interest was peaked by these things by people scamming others trying to sell games for like 50 60 dollars and i just i was having a hard time finding legit games out there and i'm not gonna pay legit prices for bootlegs for fakes you know 
I'm gonna pay a few dollars. And I just wanted to see what the quality was, how these things worked. And uh, this is actually the first bundle I bought. The other one I did a video on was the second bundle. It just took forever for these to get to me. But yeah, you know, for a few bucks each, that's cool. You know, not gonna be for everyone. It's just the way it is. Some people hate bootlegs and reproductions and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Link down below if you're interested on AliExpress. Took a couple weeks to get to me, uh, but that's fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.